Sports with Zach Martin. Now that everything has been settled and the regular season is finished, we thought tonight we could break down the high school football playoffs for so many of our area teams. Let's get started in 6A, El Paso, Pebble Hills, traveling to Dick Bivens Stadium on Friday at 6 p.m. to take on the Tascosa Rebels, who are fresh off a big win against Friendship. Let's move on to 5A Division One, Amarillo High, also playing at home. They take on 2-8 and eight, El Paso Chapin on Thursday. In Division Two, the Randall Raiders, well, they are on the road against Justin. Justin Northwest. This is going to be a tough matchup for the Raiders. Moving on to 4A. We've talked about 3 4A all year long. Pampa, Hereford, Canyon, and Dumas are all playoff bound now. Dumas probably has the easiest matchup, taking on four seed Wichita Falls Hershey, while Canyon is in for a tough matchup with undefeated Decatur. In 4A Division II, Dowhart taking on a three win Snyder team in Plainview on Friday. Also in Division II, the Perryton Rangers play undefeated Midland Greenwood at Kimbrough Memorial on Thursday. In 3A, undefeated Bushland, they take on 1-9 Tornillo in Denver City on Friday. Speaking of Denver City, the River Road Wildcats, they take on 9-1 Denver City at Lowry Field in Lubbock on Thursday. 3A, Division II sees four panhandle teams in playoff games. Canadian will probably roll, but Childers and Spearman, they have tough matches. I'm keeping a close eye, though, on eight win Friona playing seven win Anson. That game could be a great one. For 2A, let's start in Region 2, where we have District Champs Wellington playing 5-5 five and five Electra, 8-2 and two Wheeler. They're playing in Vernon against Archer City. And then Shamrock, they are playing an eight win team, Windhorse. They're playing them in Iowa Park. In Region 1, WT High playing at River Road on Friday against 6 and 4 Olton. Panhandle is in Kimbrough at 4 on Friday, taking on Sundown. Highland Park and Sanford Fritch are playing two teams that have combined to only have one loss. Good luck, guys. In Division 2, Groover should have a fun battle with 8 and 2 Tahoka. Stratford should be able to dominate a four win ho new home team. And 7 and 3 Vega has a good matchup with 6 and 4 Smyre. Finally, in six man, let's start with Division I. Petersburg and White Deer play in Valley at five on Friday, and McLean will also play in Valley, taking on the Happy Cowboys at seven in Division II. Eight and two Groom and a six and four Crest Squad meetup, and LaFours has to play a seven and three Motley Club.